All right, so in this video, we're gonna be solving another question that's related to binomial expansion. And uh, this is a question from October, November, 2020, paper one, variant two. So it's, it's a five mark question. And with this, we'll be able to cover a lot of concepts. So it says, find the coefficient of x square in the expansion of x minus three upon x. And this, as you can see, is being multiplied with another uh, expression, which is x plus two over x to the power five. Okay, so immediately, we're not gonna worry about x minus three upon x. So the first thing we need to sort out is what to do with x plus two upon x to the power five. Okay, now, what exactly do I need to do and how exactly will I figure that out? The answer to that is, the answer to that lies in the expression that's before it, which is gonna get multiplied by it, which is x minus three upon x. Okay, so now here's what you gotta think. This is gonna get multiplied by a number of terms, okay? And the end result, towards the end, you want just x squared. So that means if you have a term that has x in it, so that means you got to multiply this with another term that has x in it. Why? So that when the two get multiplied, the end result is x squared. Then when you have 3 upon x, this needs to get multiplied by a term that has x cube in it. Okay, plus minus whatever that doesn't matter, but that will sort out later. But this needs to get multiplied with another term that has x cube in it. Okay, why? Because that way, three upon x when gets multiplied by x cube. Think of it this way: that one upon x when gets multiplied by x cube. So the end result is simply x square. Okay, now so that means here's what I know immediately: that I need to figure out the term in x and I need to figure out the term in x cube. So that's that's what I need to do now. Okay, so that means. Like I said, I want the coefficient of x and I want the coefficient of x cubed from this expansion. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the formula, which I'll write over here, ncr, a raised to the power n minus r and b raised to the power r. So I need to figure out the value of r. n is five, a is x and b is two upon x. So five, c, r, x raised to the power five minus r and two upon x raised to the power of r. And this I want to be equal to x. And then in the next case, I want it to, uh, to be equal to x cube. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna write that down. Let me copy and paste this here. Okay. So in one case, I want this to be equal to x and another, I want this equal to be x cube. So what, what I'm gonna do immediately is I'm gonna ignore five CR. I'm gonna ignore this too. And I'm just gonna worry about x raised to the power five minus r. And then this x right here is in the numerator. So that means if I shift it in the denominator, so this will become this will become x raised to the power minus one. And then don't forget that this is still raised to the power of r. And this you want to be equal to x. So let's write this, let's simplify this further. x raised to the power five minus r into x raised to the power minus r equals to x. I'm gonna solve this to obtain the value of r, which is gonna give me the which which when applied is going to give me the value uh, the term in x okay so let's sort this out x raised to the power 5 minus 2r is equals to x raised to the power 1 same basis getting multiplied powers are added so i'm going to ignore the basis and compare the powers so 5 minus 2r is equals to 1 and if i rearrange this 4 is equals to 2r and then writing this nicely 2r equals to 4, which leads to the conclusion that r is equals to 2. Remember to uh, utilize the space that you provided with very efficiently. In fact, you know what? I'm going to drag this and I'm going to bring it closer to. And let's separate them by making a straight line. Okay, now. So I'm going to plug in r and then figure out the term with x in it. Okay, so for that, I'm going to need a calculator. But before that, let me extend this line. So yeah, so I'm going to plug in 2. So 5c sorry x raised to the power 5 minus 2 so I'm just going to write 3 and then 2 upon x raised to the power of r which is 2 okay so 5c2 is 10 but just to be sure so 10 x cube into 4 upon x square all right don't forget that 2 and x both of them are going to get squared so this is going to become 40 x cube upon x square which will ultimately simplify and become 40 x all right okay then Next, what you gotta do is you gotta work out the coefficient of x cubed. Now, I already know what this simplifies to. Okay, we did it right over here. And I know that this is gonna simplify to x raised to the power five minus two r, which is equal to, but this time it's gonna be equal to x cubed, right? So at this point, the basis get ignored and we just compare the powers. So that's gonna be five minus two r is equals to three. Let's rearrange this. So two is equals to two r. Let's write this nicely, 2r equals to 2, r is equals to 1. Okay, so now I have the value of r, which I need to plug in in order to obtain the coefficient of x cubed. So I'm gonna do just that. 
5c1, x raised to the power 5 minus 1, which is 4, and then 2 upon x raised to the power 1. So 5c1 is going to be 5. I don't need a calculator for that. So this is going to give me 10x to the power 4 upon x, which is going to become 10x cubed. Okay, now that everything's sorted out, we're at the home stretch. So the expression before was x minus 3 upon x. Now this expression is going to get multiplied by 40x plus 10x cubed. Both of them are positive. Yeah, because we have a plus sign in between. So pretty much, in fact, all the terms are going to be positive. So you don't have to worry about the signs anymore. Okay, so I'll just put a dot dot here to show that, yes, there will be more terms, but we're not really interested in them. So x is going to get multiplied by 40x. So that's going to give me 40x squared. And then minus 3 upon x, as I mentioned earlier, is going to get multiplied by 10x cubed. So that's going to give me minus 30x cubed upon x. So this, when simplified, becomes 40x squared minus 30x squared and 40x squared minus 30x squared is equals to 10x squared, which is the correct answer. But, oops, sorry about that. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, so this, well, when you're giving the final answer, remember that the final answer is just going to be 10 because the question only wanted the coefficient of x squared or the term in x squared. Let's read the question. Yeah, it's asking for the coefficient. So this right here is the end of the question. So I hope this, con this, this concept was understood by all of you. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't. So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.